Hello, and welcome to Insight Medical Imaging. If you're watching this video, you're waiting to have an imaging guided pain management injection procedure performed. These procedures are often performed on patients with chronic joint or back pain and can often provide medium term pain relief. The duration of relief varies from patient to patient. Injections are also sometimes performed to help determine the cause of pain. For example, if the pain is coming from a specific joint or if the pain has a different cause. When imaging guidance is used, these procedures are typically performed by a radiologist. The radiologist will place a small needle within a joint or other target area and then usually injects some corticosteroids such as cortisone along with some local anesthetic. Using imaging guidance such as fluoroscopy for these injections ensures precise needle placement and greater accuracy of the injection. In certain circumstances, your doctor may request an injection of a lubricating substance into a joint such as Duralane or Synvisc. If you're having this type of injection performed, you will know well in advance of the procedure and will bring the injection material you purchased from a pharmacy. If you're not having Duralane or other lubricant injection, everything is supplied by Insight. This video will give you a brief overview of what to expect with the procedure the risks involved, and what to do afterwards. Before the procedure starts, you will be asked to fill out an information sheet and sign a consent form. When filling out the information sheet, please indicate if you have any allergies or you're taking any blood thinners. After filling out the forms and changing into a gown, the technologist will then take you into the imaging room where the procedure is performed. You will be positioned on the imaging table so the area to be injected can be visualized by the radiologist. The technologist or the radiologist will then cleanse the injection site and cover it with a sterile drape. Once the area is prepped, the radiologist will perform some further imaging to precisely localize the target area for the injection. The skin is then anesthetized with a local anesthetic agent similar to what your dentist uses. There is usually some mild discomfort during this part of the procedure. The radiologist then positions the injection needle to the desired target location. The medication is then injected and some follow-up imaging may be performed. Sometimes contrast is injected into the joint to document needle placement and characterize the joint. After the injection and imaging are completed, the technologist will assist you in cleaning the prep solution from the injection site and will apply a small bandage. You can then return to your change cubicle and change back into your street clothes. You'll be instructed to wait a few minutes in the cubicle to make sure there are no immediate side effects from the injection and to monitor changes in your pain level or pain score. The technologist will come and check you before you leave the clinic, so please be patient and wait in the cubicle or the waiting room until you've been given the okay to leave. Keep the injection area dry for at least 12 hours after the procedure and no swimming or soaking in a tub for 24 hours afterwards. Resume normal activities and medications but refrain from vigorous exercise or activity for at least two days. Mild discomfort at the injection site is common and should be expected. This can last for a day or two. Over-the-counter pain medicines such as Tylenol or Ibuprofen can be taken if you have no contraindications to these. If a steroid is injected, it may take a few days to start acting. A pain diary is a useful way to monitor your response to the injection. Mild redness and swelling at the injection site are normal occurrences, particularly with injection of joint lubricants. Bruising of the skin is also quite common and does not require treatment. There are no dietary restrictions after the procedure and you can resume all medications. Whenever an injection is given, there's a small chance of bleeding at the injection site and deeper tissues, infection, and allergic reaction. Fortunately, these side effects are not common. Paralysis and severe reactions are very uncommon. Pain that gets worse over time and exceeds the amount of pain before the injection is unusual. If this occurs, you should see your doctor. If you experience increasing swelling and redness at the injection site, you should return to your doctor or visit a hospital emergency department. If you have fever and chills or severe weakness, you should proceed to emergency. Remember, pain injections are usually safe procedures that are commonly performed with few after effects. 
Review points. Keep the injection area dry for at least 12 hours after the procedure and no swimming or soaking in a tub for 24 hours afterwards. No strenuous activity for two days. Resume medications. No dietary restrictions. Mild painkillers can be used if necessary. See your doctor or visit an emergency department for worsening pain, fever and chills, severe weakness, allergic reaction. So remember to note any allergies or blood thinner usage on the information sheet. Stay in the clinic until you have been seen and discharged by the technologist. Try and keep the area dry after the injection. Refrain from strenuous exercise or activity for a few days. Resume your normal diet and medications. If you are having worsening pain, increasing swelling, fever and chills, or severe weakness, you should contact your doctor or be seen in a hospital emergency department. Thank you for choosing Insight Medical Imaging for all your diagnostic medical imaging needs.